we go now to course goal. Now write a short story that's 100% your own and send it to Superintendent Jason by email. You know, the, the, the email is what you're saying. Now, the only way to write an authentic story is just like those days we used to write letters. Dear mama, I am in the boarding school and uh, my pocket money has finished, full stop. You see, the moment you go there, think about somebody, you know, just take it that you're writing a letter or a postcard. Before you know it, uh, you, 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 you have written almost 50 words or more and you cannot stop yourself anymore. So we are all creative. The only point is some of us don't know how to go about it. I have to warn you guys. When I say creative, don't bring the idea of money into this. You must be a passionate um, reader, writer, and also love what you're doing. So the moment you start to think, can I make money with it? You cannot write. And that, that's one of the reasons some people have what we call the writer's block. Say, this is useless. Why am I writing this story? And then what happens is that many people died with their stories and they have no legacy. Remember, what you're doing is um, not only for money, because the money comes after you have created your name. People will start to like your work and you, you start to enjoy your work. And even if it is only one person that read your book, it's something great. So money is not the idea. If you're thinking about money, please, uh, you, are, you are not a writer. I'm not saying uh, you not make money with writing, but don't bring it first. Bring the story, the idea, the story, be passionate, love what you're doing, be positive. And as we go along, then you will see there are other things to do to become a writer, really a writer. You know, practice makes perfect. And the moment you have written a book, uh, the tendency is for you to write the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and so on. And then you start telling stories anywhere you go, holding conferences, or even coming online like me to talk about your book. Why not? And this is what I'm going to do very soon to present all the books I've published and my own books, to read passages from my book, and that is going to inspire so many people. So like you have seen now, um, the, prop, the process to achieve this start with a five sentence story. Expand it with every class as you learn from, as you learn, sorry, as you learn new aspects and concepts of storytelling. When you're telling the story, always remember the grandma. She did not go to school, but she is a great storyteller. But one point, it's uh, at that period, it, it, that's what um, it was the oral tradition. And this is why, I mean, in Africa, this is why we did not um, um, uh, develop a good number of our stories in books. A good number of people died with those, uh, those stories and um, the books did not um, capture them. There, there were no books written about our stories, a good number of our stories, traditions, and so on. The grandma, the grandpa, all of them died with this, the, you know, with the secret of the of a whole village that could have been uh, 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 transferred to uh, another generation from generation to generation, like what you find in the West, in um, you know, France, uh, United States of America. They've got libraries and so on, archives. We don't have archives. People die with archives. And this is why we are writing this story, this generation of Africans, we must keep our records. Because if we don't write the story, other people will write the story for us. So it's just like the story of the hunter. So the lions, you know, uh, they, they were not writing their stories and then the hunter told the story of the hunt. Uh, or yes, or they told the story of, uh, of the lions. So do not allow anybody to tell your story. After all, you come up and start crying. 
This is why we are doing uh, what we're doing today. And this is why I'm trying to give you the techniques of uh, um, creative writing. By the end of uh, the course, you will be very familiar with all aspects of storytelling because that is very, very important. Um, and again, for example, um, you have my email, you have my telephone number, you can join the uh, WhatsApp group. If you feel that, okay, you are very good in the oral tradition um, and then you cannot write, bring your story for us and then I can write your story for you and then we talk about it. Uh, there was a lady in my book, The Anthology of African uh, 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 um, Stories. The, um, she told me her uh, she told me her story, and I have to transcribe and write everything down. So, um, in fact, either way, but I want you to be a writer. That's why I'm here. Because you you are already creative, you that is listening to me. But the other aspects you don't have, what you don't have is the courage to write your uh, story down. So you can do it step by step. If it is too much for you, why not write one sentence one day? And then before the end of the week, you must have written seven sentences. It, it, it's almost, you have almost written a paragraph of a book that, that you have in your head instead of um, passing away with all those wonderful ideas and um, 